Hey, you science fans, Mrs. Corbett here. So today I'm going to talk about energy. So energy, everything. <laughs> energy covers all three topics of science, biology, chemistry and physics. So if we're talking about energy and biology, we might be discussing the release of energy from cells via respiration. We could be talking about digestion and how we release that energy. We could be talking about food chains. We could be talking about biomass. And then in physics, of course, <sighs> gravitational potential energy kinetic energy all the measurements for energy so energy divided by time is the same as power which is the same as current times voltage um work done is the same as energy so we know that it's measured in joules uh we can work out the energy that are in substances and how much energy is transversed how much is wasted the efficiency of things based on that and in chemistry we could be talking about collision theory and the energy required activation energy the minimum amount of energy required for a chemical reaction to happen this is good for key stage three or key stage four. This is an experiment you've seen before, but let's have a little think about it. This is the screaming jelly baby. Let's go. I'm gonna actually wear goggles because this one could be ouchy for the eyes. Let's go. Got some jelly babies. Oh, that's not the point of this. I don't know how old these are. That could have been a big mistake. So jelly babies. These are just like Tesco jelly babies. They have about 18 calories in each. Now we learn about calories and kilocalories as how much energy we need to consume to maintain a healthy weight and a healthy lifestyle and the enough energy to do all the functions that humans need to do during the day, which is why we eat food. Chemical energy is transferred into heat energy, you know, kinetic energy, all sorts. So 18 calories per per jelly baby what that equates to is that equates to 100 kilojoules of energy that sounds like quite a lot of energy to me well let's put that into context so 75 percent of this is sugar and 100 kilojoules per jelly baby now 100 kilojoules sounds like a lot of energy but what it actually means is that that would be enough energy for you to sleep for half an hour. So your body, all the processes it does, it would use up the currency of energy in half an hour while you were asleep doing things. Um, which means that you could walk for four minutes, cycle for two minutes, and then we're looking at about sitting in a lesson, 10 minutes. So by the time this video is finished, you will have consumed enough calories for this just by sitting there. Because your body is obviously that your metabolism is the sum of all your chemical reactions and how much energy you need. Um, and so it doesn't seem like a lot, 18 calories. But we, we, we measure things in calories because it's more palatable. Because if that's 100, 100 kilojoules, imagine how many joules we would have to calculate you eat in a day. It's mind bending. Anyway, let's transfer that energy out. So this is my setup here, this is potassium chlorate and obviously this is a Bunsen burner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the Bunsen burner so we get to the point where the potassium chlorate melts. It's currently a solid and we are going to make it until it goes to a nice liquid and that is going to have enough energy to react with the jelly baby. Now remember if we're breaking down and trying to get the energy out of a jelly baby that's using energy as well, but it also releases more energy than it uses in our body in respiration, so that is an exothermic reaction. So the chemical energy that is in a jelly baby is going to be transferred here. Now the sugar in there is glucose, is used in respiration. Now, the amount of energy that I mentioned before, 100 kilojoules of energy, would raise the temperature of water from 20 degrees to 100 degrees. So that's, that's quite a lot if you put it into context, but think about how little that is compared to how little you can do when you're doing exercise, etc. It kind of gives you a concept of how much stuff your body is currently doing. Right, are you ready? This is the one now. It's now all liquid. Here we go. 